All right, what's in this pack that makes it so heavy? <laughs> Everything in the kitchen sink. Kids, don't try this at home or anywhere. This pack might be heavier than you, and it may cause, for others, uh, weakening of the joints, diminished cartilage, and injury due to unbalanced hiking. Expecting mothers, don't do it. Ultralight backpackers, proceed with caution. It also may cure you from ever going backpacking again. <laughs> All right, I just wanted to comment on our packs for this trip. Uh, my final way in when I left the house, food, water, base gear, everything. I was running 69 and a half pounds. Yeah, I'm not ultra lightweight by a long shot. But packing a lot of luxuries with me, including three Coke Zeros and a monster. So there's uh, almost five pounds right there. And I got some good heavier food too, so I'll eat that up first to get my pack as light as I can, as quick as I can. And Christy's load out, she's about 40 pounds. And again, she's got some luxuries with her as well and make that weight, but uh, we'll be able to trim our weight down pretty fast, I think, with what we're eating, so we'll get to camp, we'll show you what's in our pack. Yeah, keep in mind we are packing enough gear for eight to nine days, yeah. so, you know, we don't get the luxury of having a trail magic at a trail junction with resupply points this is take everything you got because you're on your own <laughs> so you're probably wondering how I'm carrying all that weight on the backpack it's because I got this Gregory Baltoro 85 it's the workhorse for packs top of the market for carrying heavy loads and a lot of gear so I must say that it feels really good on my back. I can't even really tell that it's there. Uh, maybe need to do a review on this pack because it's it's worth it because it's a just love it. All right, what's in this pack that makes it so heavy? <laughs> Everything in the kitchen sink. All right. So, in this side pouch right here, I have uh, the oxygen that we use for the altitude. Uh, got emergency blankets and zip ties and a fire starting kit in there. That's all I have in there. And then in my other side pouch, I have my, my one gallon Sawyer gravity system for water filtering. And it just happens to fit in this side pouch just perfectly, the right length and height and width and everything. So that works out pretty good. And then down in the bottom, I got my sleeping bag, day's worth of clothes. And in my side pocket here, I keep my smart water bottle and my Z seat, thermal rest Z seat. They fit in there both just nicely. Like that. Right here's my staging area for getting ready to put stuff in the bag. I always put my tent in first because that tent was quite an investment and I don't want to get it tore on something out by having it external my pack. So I put it inside my pack. And then here I have my cook kit with all my beverages in there and here I got my lunches and snacks and here are my breakfasts and dinners 
And then I have my uh, fishing kit. There's an extra dinner. And I have my waterproof pants, rain pants, waterproof jacket. And this is my uh, long johns and sleeping hat and gloves for the bed. And here I'm taking the Static V Recon sleeping pad. And there's another, there's another dinner. And uh, then I got my bathroom kit. And first aid kit. And then on the one side of my brain, I keep some some DEET, mosquito net, some rubber gloves, wet wipes, a little TP, the deuce shovel, and keratin, tick, and uh, mosquito repellent. And on the other side of the brain, I keep my navigation stuff, compass map of the area. I have a charger for the GPS and phone. And here I got some miscellaneous cords, fire starter, uh, extra batteries for my headlamp. And my headlamp will go in there. All right, we almost got the tent wrapped up. We'll get it in the bag first and then we'll try to fit all that junk in there. All right, time to make a Mary Poppins bag. Her purse or whatever it is she has it has everything in it. I put all my heavy stuff against my back so it's closer to my body. It rides better on the pack when you're hiking. And all the voids that are down in the bottom. Put little stuff in there to maximize the space in the pack. Take a peek inside real quick. That's what we got going so far. We're playing Tetris. That's what we got so far. Can't forget to pack my cook zeros. We'll put them in the middle so they stay cold. Yeah. That's what we're looking like inside. Still got a little bit room in top. Maybe I can put another couple of 50 pound dumbbells in there or something. Had to make a little adjustment. I had to move my bedroll up there and slide in my chair I forgot to put in there. Try to put my big stuff in first. Okay, finishing touches. Got all that in there. Got my fishing gear in there. My two jackets. I'll close the lid. I think that's a full 85 liters in there. Give it a good push down. Yeah. Alright, so now in the front pocket, I keep my Sawyer squeeze for the go. Fire starting kit. Some candy. Light packets for the trip to mix with my water. Keep an extra water bottle in there. And I found my ground cloth for the tent and uh, 
emergency tarp if we need it like we did yesterday. And I think I'm about as full as I can get, bulging the seams. Okay, I got my pole strapped on the side there. All right, she's road ready. That's what she looks like all done up. For now, it'll change tomorrow as we use gear and have more room inside. What a Gregory Baltoro 85 packed with now 65 pounds of crap and luxuries on a high adventure. All right, I just waited in. We just got back from our trip. Uh, final tally, 51 pounds. Started out at 69 pounds, ended the trail with 51 pounds.